Okay, everybody, hello, and this is Joey, and I'm going to show you how to install the Windows 8 Developer Preview today in VMware Workstation. Uh, the first thing you have to do is create a virtual machine. I created one for Ubuntu 11.10 uh, so that I could play around with that a little bit. I've not used it. Uh, but I uh, plan to, so I uh, got that going on. Let's see, so the first thing we want to do is create a new virtual machine. You go to File, New Virtual Machine. Just click Typical on this screen. Um, you'll want to select your installer disk image file, and I, do I downloaded this uh, directly from the Microsoft website. So feel free to go get it there. I recommend getting it there. Uh, that way you know you're getting the real deal. So you just uh, click on here and you'll have to browse to find it. I've already found it. Uh, so you click Next. You'll want to select Microsoft Windows and version Windows 7. There's no selection for Windows 8 on there. So just pick Windows 7. Uh, don't put in a Windows product key. It'll give you a little warning here. Just click Yes. Uh, you can name it whatever you want to name it. I'm naming mine Windows 8. Uh, here's where you set the the size. You can set it to anything you want to, but I think it needs at least uh, 12, 13 gigabytes uh, to install. So I'm going to set mine at 30. <laughs> 30, and I'm going to store it as a single file. Um, So, yeah, that's all I got to do there. Then you want to go to Customize Hardware. And I'm going to set the memory to 2 gigabytes. That's half of my memory. I have 4 gigabytes of memory. So I'm setting it to 2 gigabytes. And the processor, I'm going to set it to 2 cores. I have 4 cores, so I'll be setting it 2 cores. And the floppy drive, I'm going to remove that because that will... Um, I'll get an error message later on if I don't remove it. So remove. And that's pretty much it. Close that. And I click power on this virtual machine after creation so it should start up. And you just click finish. And then it will start up uh, loading. And it's going to do a lot of weird things and let me pull this out here a little bit so you can see the whole screen hopefully that worked maybe not kinda of move it around a little bit there we go um, so right here this this will just install I'm not sure exactly uh, all the steps involved Move that back over here. Uh, because I, I've attempted this before, but I essentially started it and like went off to the next room and <laughs> left it going. So I don't really know what's going to... Oh, oh. Yeah, this is the error message you get when you don't delete the floppy drive. So I don't know why I'm, I'm getting this message. No. That's strange. Why am I getting that message? Power off. Power off. So it did not delete the floppy drive. Remove the floppy drive. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Power on this virtual machine. So we're going to try it again. Um, and see what happens. And I'm just going to leave my window frame where it's at because this thing's going to jump around and do all kinds of stuff on me, probably. So there you go. That that's I'm glad that actually I'm gl I'm actually glad that happened because uh, now you get to see exactly what happens when uh, you don't delete the floppy drive. Um. At least I'm assuming that that's what 
what happens on on everybody or maybe it's just peculiar to me you can set whatever you want to set here as far as I know uh, all of these are valid for me and then you just click install and I did like I said I did install this before uh, it seemed like it was a pretty fast install like I said I basically walked away from it while it was while it was going um, you have to accept all these cryptic licensing terms and I'll just read through it real quick there we go and I'm gonna create a, a custom uh, right here which basically allows you to uh, install it fresh and then it will do all this copying and doing all this other stuff uh, yeah, so it, it'll take it a while. It it does all this installing, expanding, and copying and completing. <laughs> so uh, it's quite a bit. Uh, I will say that I did download the the biggest version you could get off of the website. Uh, it's uh, the developers website with all the de developers tools, and I believe this one has the apps installed. I did install a, another version that did not have any apps installed, so it was very simple and basically didn't show me anything, so it was a little disappointing. Anyway, I'm going to pause the recording here, and I will be back uh, when this is completed to show you more and... If anything crops up in the meantime, I will unpause it and record some more. So, see you in a few. Okay, I'm back, and now I'm at this screen, and you can't delete that text in there. You just have to type in your new text, so we'll just call this Win8VM. Uh, setting express settings automatically, and so this is how you can do some settings. Uh, I'll just use the express settings. Hmm. Well. Let's see, I'll just give it a local account. So we'll just call this Joey and put in a password and another password and um, easy. Next. It's finalizing my settings. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know what that... Um, thing was there I don't I don't know what that was the uh, Windows Live I'd be interested to test that at some point um but that that's kind of cool to have kind of an integrated collaboration thing going on although I I wonder how it would react if you're offline I mean uh, I can't be online all the time uh especially if I'm if I'm on a laptop or something like that. So not exactly sure what's going on with that. It's a little bizarre. Anyway, I'm going to pause again and uh allow this to prepare my PC and then if it does something else interesting, I will come back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it's actually just like 20 seconds later, and <laughs> um, it's done something interesting. It's actually started up. So uh, what I'm going to do is cut the video here, and I will come back and uh, do a little review, a walkthrough of Windows 8. So uh, until then, I'll see you next time.